First at 6, a CBS 4 News exclusive report, a police officer's body camera showing us how a band of serial car burglars was busted in the middle of the night. And tonight, only CBS 4 News is talking to the veteran officer who saw the crime and called it in. CBS 4's Peter Danch is live at the South Miami Police Department. And Peter, these suspects could be connected to other crimes? Well, Elliot, South Miami Police Chief Renee Landa says he's reaching out to Chiefs and Coral Gables, Pinecrest, and the area to see if the same suspects have struck in their cities. We have brand new video exclusively of some items that were confiscated as police curb the car hoppers. Dramatically and without violence, South Miami police say they catch the criminals. Body cam video shows how they take down car burglars early Wednesday by an apartment building near Southwest 59th Avenue and 75th Street. They capture this man, 19 year old Elio Romero. We see him as he's being taken to jail, facing charges, including burglary and resisting arrest without violence. The same charges facing 18 year old Christopher De Leon and a 16 year old accomplice. Hopefully, it makes an example of what's going on and all the crime that's being committed. Police say Romero and the others tried to break into Jennifer Torres's car and did burglarize five other vehicles, looking for ones that were unlocked. As soon as I saw him get out of the car, I got a, actually I got really excited and I was like I knew exactly what they were doing. They were car hopping. Captain John Barzola was off duty at 1:40 in the morning when he spotted four suspects getting out of this stolen dark gray Jeep Cherokee and committing crimes, which led to this takedown. As a police officer, that's our job and that's our duty, and that's what I think most of us live for is to catch the bad guy. We get so many of these crimes, and you know, more than more often than not, they go unsolved. We don't know who did them. You know, this time we know who did it, and we have them in custody. And police also showed us some of the 30 items confiscated from the suspects that they believe were taken in other similar crimes: a watch, cell phone chargers, a backpack, a New York Giants football cap. And cologne. That's actually scary because there's a lot of a lot of people leave stuff in their cars. For years, South Miami police have warned about a sharp increase in car hopping crimes, as we have seen on surveillance tape. These crimes generally occur between one o'clock and five o'clock in the morning. Is what we found, and we want people to you know to lock the doors, obviously, but don't leave things in your vehicle. That Which could lead to fewer crimes and takedowns that are needed to curb this crime. And there has, in fact, been a sharp increase in car hopping crimes nationwide in the past five years. Captain Barzola said he noticed that the suspects in this case went out of their way to make sure that their stolen Jeep was actually locked while they went in search for other unlocked cars. A fourth suspect who may be a teenager got away. We're live in South Miami. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News. Elliot.